Here in this one table, we have given the domain and range of all the inverse trigonometric functions. So if you take sin inverse and cos inverse, their domains are the same, minus 1, 1 and minus 1, 1. That means x has to be such that mod x is less than or equal to 1. And the ranges are minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 for sin inverse and 0 to pi for cos inverse. Okay. Now, if we take tan inverse as well as cot inverse, the domains are all real numbers. That means minus infinity to infinity. But the range is again open interval minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 for tan. Okay, The endpoints are not included. Similarly, open interval 0 to pi for cot inverse. Okay. Now, the tricky part is cosecant inverse and secant inverse where the x value has to be such that its model s is greater than or equal to 1, which is what we have written differently as minus infinity comma minus 1, minus 1 alone is included, union 1 comma infinity, 1 is included here. That means all values between minus 1 to 1 are not allowed. For example, you can't define cosecant inverse of half or cosecant inverse of minus 2 by 3 because they lie between minus 1 and 1 and that's not part of the domain of the cosecant inverse function. Again, the range is between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 closed interval except for the value 0. Okay? So, cosecant inverse can never return the value 0 because cosecant 0 is undefined. Similarly, secant inverse x can never return the value pi by 2 because secant pi by 2 is undefined. Right? So, this list which is the domain and range of all the inverse trigonometry functions you should know thoroughly.